Welcome back, guys. I'm Tony Hansen, joined by Vin B and Dan Isgro. And today we're looking at Cinque Terre on Tabletopia.com. Tabletopia is a great place to play an amazing amount of board games online with your friends anywhere in the world. So, guys, uh, for the first thing to mention is the 3D interface, which is pretty easy to use. So if you'll notice that if you press the uh, left mouse button, it's easy to move around. And if you put it to the right, it changes your perspective and your pitch. Uh, it works intuitively, kind of how you think it should. So let's say that you want to look around in the game, and you want to look at something in particular, and you want to zoom in. So let's say you like this view, and you want to be at this view quickly. Press Shift and a number. In this case, I'll do Shift and 6. That means anytime I press uh, 6 without the Shift, I will go right back to there. And it's great for looking at certain things on the map that are important to me, and you want to get in and get out pretty fast. Um, one thing to note is that you do not hog the interface for all the other players. They don't know what you're looking at, and they don't see what you're looking at. They have their own screen, just like you do. So uh, it's great. If you're focusing on something that's important for to, to end game to win, um, they don't know that you're focusing on that. So something to keep in mind. Right now, on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, let's talk about the interfaces for communication. You have the video interface. You'll see me and Vin waving to each other right now. You also have audio and text capability. So um, great way to interface with your friends, your adversaries, and um, it's very helpful. So that's pretty much it for utilization of the game. The software, let's go into the game Cinque Terre with Vin right now. So Cinque Terre translates very well, again, to Tabletopia, as all the games do, for various reasons. Here, one of the great reasons is obviously there's a lot of little tokens and cards, and the setup is completely done for you. You're pretty much ready to play right off the bat when you enter the game. One click, and you're ready to go. Even to the extent that you have your starting hands drawn to the sides of your player deck area. So you can see in the lower right and lower left of the screen at the moment. The other nice thing that Tabletopia affords you, and one of the drawbacks of the board game industry, is certain games are hard to find. This one's been out of print for a little while, so it's great to be able to come into to Tabletopia and try out a game that you might not otherwise be able to play. So over here in Cinque Terre, when you want to interact with certain pieces, you're going to need to know what to do. Starting with the dice, if you hover over a die, select it, and then press R on your key keyboard, you'll be able to roll the die. And you can select multiple dice and roll them all at once by holding shift and clicking each individual die, or you can hold shift as Tony just did, and you can see you can drag out the selection box and select multiple die at one time as well. Other things you might need to know about over there are the, the, the decks of cards. So there's various cards that you're gonna need to draw and deal from. So if you right click on the, on the deck, you can have the option there to rotate cards, flip them, but you can draw cards, which draws them directly into your hand. So you can select between one or more cards. And when the cards are in your hand like this, it's a great thing because you could see it, but nobody else can. So if you want to keep it a secret, nobody knows what cards or how many cards you have in your hand there. You'll also be managing many tokens when you're playing Cinque Terre. You can do that by hovering over the token and by clicking on it and dragging it anywhere on the playing surface. You could drop it wherever you'd like to. You could also manage multiple tokens all at once, the same way you manage multiple dice at once, by using your shift key and selecting either an area of multiple tokens or by holding the shift key and clicking on multiple tokens at once to move and manage those tokens all at one time. So that's it, guys. That's Cinque Terre on Tabletopia.com, a great place to play in many, many board games. Uh, check it out there. Uh, we're Audio Dungeon. I'm Tony Hansen, joined by Dan and Vin, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.